we are going to start by having a seat on our chair. Now I have my water bottle and my weights off to the side on the shelf. I have shoes on today. Sometimes I wear shoes, sometimes I don't. Today is a shoe day. We want to have our feet flat on the floor, toes pointing straight ahead. That also means our thighs go straight ahead. You can even press down a little bit through your feet already. Start engaging. Shoulder roll, bring your shoulders up, back, and down. From the shoulder roll, let's take a big inhale. Reach up, take your inhale. Blow it out, exhale. Two more times, reach up with your inhale. Blow it out, exhale. One more time, big breath. Feel the breath come in. Side stretch here, you sweep your right arm up. Here's your chance to stretch the right side of the body. Left arm sweeps up, stretch the left side. Keep pressing the left hip down. Switch sides, we'll do that one more time on each side, right arm up. Left arm goes up. Bring your arms down, shoulder roll. One more time, arm circles, big circles as the arms go up and around, up and around. So now we're getting movement in our shoulders, big or small. Big breaths as you take it around. One more time, open your arms up to the side. Here comes your inhale, lift your chest. Hug a big ball as you exhale. It's an inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hug a ball two more times. Open and hug one more time. From here, hands go right to your lap. Sit up tall, lift your chest, inhale. Drop your chin to your chest, round through your spine, exhale. Lift up with an inhale, round through your spine, exhale. Now this is for movement through your spine. If you have any sticky spots, see if you can move all the way through them. One more time. There is the inhale, your round and your exhale. I'm gonna have you sweep your hands up, take your hands right behind your head. Open up the elbows, add a little twist to the right. Now this is just enough for mobility through your upper back. Just a little twist. There's your little twist to the right. Now I'm not moving in my low back. Good idea to engage the core, maybe kind of zip up, bring the belly button in. Let's do that one more time on each side. Meet in the center. Take an inhale, hug your elbows to the front as you exhale. Maybe the elbows can touch, maybe they don't, but we want to keep the head pressing back and the chin level to the ground. We'll do one more of these. There comes the squeeze. And then you can relax your arms down. Lift your right leg, ankle circles. Let's take some movement through your ankle in one direction and now in the other direction. Set the foot down. Lift the left, circle around in one direction. Circle in the other direction. Lift the right leg, maybe a little, maybe a lot. It's wherever it works for you. There's the hug. Set it down, lift the left. Big or small, this is to get a little more movement through your hips. We'll do that one more time. Hug, pull it in. And now the other side, hug, pull it in. Hip circles, we're gonna circle our knee out. So think, move the leg out, slide it in, switch sides. Circle out, slide in. Can you keep your ankle under your knee as you make the movement? It's gonna make it a little bigger. It's a circle and slide. Circle, slide. And the next one, you slide out, circle in. It's slide, circle, slide, circle. Again, we still keep ankle under the knee. 
The circle could be big or small. We're keeping that movement through our hips. One more time. Hands are on your thighs. Feet can go a little wider. Circle it around. Add some movement here wherever it feels good. Taking it around and around. Change direction. Take it around in the opposite direction. Finish this one, take it around. Hands can stay on your thighs. Feet might go a little bit wider. Lean forward, drop your right shoulder. Upper back, little twist. Bring it to center, drop the left shoulder. Now this is movement through your upper back. Let's do that again. Off to one side. Off to the other side. Bring yourself to center. Slide down to your forearms. Maybe you go down even further, a little forward fold. Keep pushing your feet down into the floor, big or small, wherever this works for you. And then with an inhale, carefully, slowly bring yourself up. Once you get there, legs are going to slide in. Your feet are out in front of you. Your toes are up. Arms are to the front. You push the feet down, pull your elbows back. So a little combination here, ankle, calves, shins, upper body, push to the front, pull when you come back. We'll do a couple more, get that movement through the upper back area, as well as your ankles. Finish this one. Feet can slide in, keep your elbows by your side, take your palms up, reach to the side, and then the elbows come back in. Think this is for your upper back. It's a great posture movement. We're working on keeping strength in our upper back as you reach out and bring it in. Reach out, bring it in. One more time. Goal post arms here. You're going to bring your arms up. There is your goal post. And today, a little twist. Think upper back mobility. So sometimes I... Take us into shoulder work. Today I'm doing a little bit more for upper back posture. Part of keeping our posture is keeping this mobility through our upper back area. Finish this twist. Take your fingertips up to a Y. And now pull your elbows down into a W. Here's your reach for a Y down into a W. Again, upper back, reach and pull, reach and pull. Let's do that one more time. Keep your elbows at a W, reach your fingertips out to the side, let your palms go down, circle your arms back in one direction. And now we circle them in the other direction. Bring your arms in, cross them in front of you. Core work here. Make sure you're far enough forward on your chair. Feet are staying flat. Pull the belly in, lean back. Just a little lean back here. Sit up tall. And we're gonna go just tall to a lean back. Bring yourself up. Now make sure we're keeping this in the core. That's totally different than letting your low back do the work. We often let that happen. We don't want to do that. Sit up tall. One more time, a little lean back. Now I'm going to add on here. You're going to sit up tall. This time you're going to lean back. And once you're lean back, pull the belly in. I'm going to add a little twist to one side, twist to the other. Now I said little. I want you to use your core, not your low back. And you have a little twist and twist for four, three, two, center, sit up tall, add your lean forward. You can take your hands to your thighs. Give yourself a stretch here. Release it. You bring yourself up here. Drop your right arm, take your left hand behind, little side bend. 
You're gonna bend down, reach, and now I'm gonna have you take a little twist. So here comes, reach down, and if you wanna add your knee twist. So I'm doing a little combination. You reach for your side bend, and here's a little elbow across for oblique. I'm staying on the same side each time. We'll do three more on this side. Side bend, elbow, knee. They don't ever have to touch. It's a side bend, elbow, knee. One more time. Side bend, elbow, knee. We switch sides. Drop the left arm. Right arm comes up. Side bend. And this time I just did a twist. Here's your side bend. If you want to add a lift, it could be big or small. You might just come up to your toes. The idea is to focus on core. It's a bend and a cross. Side bend, take it across. We have three more. Three. Here comes your two. And one more time. Finish this. Take your hands to your lap, cow cat, just a chance to release your back. You should have been using your core, but if by chance you slipped into your back a little, loosen it up with a cow cat. One more time here. And then go ahead. We are going to sit. Stand up from here. I'm gonna grab my sip of water once I'm standing. If yours is underneath your chair, grab a sip of water. Bring yourself up to standing. We're gonna start with some calf raises. So behind your chair, heels under hips. Fingertips can be on the chair. You're gonna lift your heels and bring them down. Today, I'm gonna to have you go a little quicker. You're gonna lift and lower. Left and lower. And then maybe we work on taking our hands away from the chair. As you lift, soft tap down. Lift, control it down. Lift, tap down. Lift and tap. Up, two more. Here's one, here's two. Heels down, feet can go just a little bit wider. It's gonna be a squat. You're gonna let your hips go back and bring it up. Here's your sit back and bring it up. So I stepped out to the side. Maybe you take your arms to the front to counterbalance the press of the hips back. There's your down and up. We'll do four more. Here's four, three, Two, one more time. When you finish this one, bring yourself up, come to the right side of your chair, step touch side to side. We step to one side, we step to the other. Here comes the option of up and over, up, over. I'm gonna add a little press of my arms to the front. You might choose to use your chair for balance. This is a balance move. You might choose to press overhead. Leg, step up and over as big as you want today. Think balance as you step over and over, over and over. Here comes your last one. Feet are going to step out wide, go into some side lunges. Toes could go out to the corners of the room. Little slide to one side, slide to the other side. Slide to one side, slide to the other. Big or small, again, maybe you hold on to the chair. Your feet might be closer together than mine. They might be further apart than mine. We're going one little change here. Go to the right only. You're gonna do four on the right side. There is your four, go to the right. Three, two more times here. 
One more time, slide to the right. And now we go left. There's four, three, two. Bring yourself to the center. Take a couple plies. Slide straight down. Press into your feet, bring it up. Slide straight down, bring it up. You can keep this small. You can make it bigger if you'd like. We have two more here. We are adding on. That means this one stays low. I want you to hold it low. Chair is here if you want it. Maybe you lift the right heel. Check it out, see how it feels. Set the heel down, lift the left. Pause and hold it here. Set the heel down, we do that again. Maybe you can take your hands away from the chair, lift a heel, press it down, lift a heel, press it down. Right heel up, down, left heel up. We'll do that one more time on each side. Finish this one, press into your feet, lift yourself up, toes will face the front of the room. Press your hips back, give yourself a stretch. Even when we did the calf raises, it uses the back of your legs. This is a nice chance to stretch out from doing the lunges, the plies, the calf raises. Slowly bring yourself all the way up. We're coming back into our balance work with a tightrope. We're going to walk forward back with our tightrope today. Hands can be wherever you want. Gaze is forward, use the space you have. You can walk forward, walk back. I'm gonna go across the back of my room, that way I have my wall, my chair. Now, if your balance is great today and you wanna add on, you would look over your shoulder as you step and step. We're going to keep going little bit longer. There goes my balance. <laughs> ah. Take your time as you do the forward back. I gotta focus today. Sometimes I have to think a little harder when it comes to this. Today's one of those days. Bring yourself back to the center. Take some hip circles. Loosen up your hips, take it around, take it around. We are going to keep working on our balance. Hips go in the other direction. Take it around. Now, once you finish this, we're coming into our knee balance. We're standing on one leg. You're going to pick whichever leg you want to start with. Think foot down. Maybe you lift just the heel. Maybe you lift the knee up a little higher. Now these are all options. And we're gonna stand up tall. I'm gonna have you hold it for 20 seconds today. I'm extending it up five more seconds. You can set the foot down. Shake it out. Here comes the other side. Foot is down on the floor. Remember your choice. Maybe the heel is up. Maybe the knee comes all the way up and you have your 20 seconds here, standing up tall. That means you have to engage the standing leg at glute. Our tendency is often to lean into the hip. We want to stand up nice and tall. That means we use our core. Foot goes down. You can use your chair if you want, little leg swings. Loosen up your hip right here. Little swing forward back, but if you're working on balance today, you can take your hands away. Not for me today, but you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Here comes the other side. We want to swing both legs. Get the swing, swing, swing. Once you do that, we're going to work on lifting the leg behind. Right here, standing on whichever foot you want to start with. Toes are behind, or you lift the foot up, there comes the hole. 
And again, I'm doing 20 seconds today. I usually do 15. I just want to see how the extra five seconds feels today as you hold it. Now, my arms are all to the side. That's where I need them today for my balance. You might be holding on to your chair. Set the foot down. Shake it out. Get ready for the other side foot. Maybe your toes stay down. Maybe you lift just a little bit or a little bit more. And we have our total 20 seconds. It's best if you look at something that's not moving. Hence, watch the wall, not me swaying. And go ahead. Set the foot down at a march. I'm using the march to loosen it up, but also, right, balance, you lift the knees. That means you have one foot on the floor at a time as you march, 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 march. We are gonna take this march far enough behind our chair for a double step touch. You take two steps to one side, two to the other, cross the foot if it works for your hips, if it works for you today, I'm going to add a little cross of my arms. Now, if you want to make it bigger, you would take it up higher. I'm keeping my arms in front, but you could also keep the arms low, especially if your shoulders tend to give you grief. Let's be nice. Keep them a little lower as you step cross, step cross. Now finish this one. Our next balance is gonna be our rock the boat. This is when we do a knee, a hamstring knee. Find your balance, lift the knee up, and then you shift your weight, lift the back leg. Shift the weight, lift the knee. Now I wanna go slow enough that each time you get your balance. Now that might mean, right, our toes stay down, that's okay. We want to get that weight shift. Weight is in the back leg. Weight is in the front leg. Shift the weight back. Pause. Shift the weight forward. We'll do that one more time on this side. Lift and shift. And now we're going to switch sides. That means we have to do knee up. On the other side, heel up. Shift the weight. Maybe it's toes down. Toes down. They're all good options. Maybe it's a little lift. Little lift. Take it up. Shift. Let's do that again. Shift. Shift, we're gonna do that one more time for good measure. Get it back and shift. Next, we're gonna do some side leg lifts. We worked forward back. I always like to get something to the side. You're gonna lift your right leg. Feel free to use your chair. I'm gonna to try to use my arms today. Lift up and bring it back in. Feel free to tap the foot. There is your lift and your tap. Feel free to use the chair. Lift and tap, lift, and tap. So you'll see, try to stay tall so the top of the head stays towards the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one more time, and then you relax it. Uh, we have the other side to go again. Feel free to use a chair. Maybe you go over to the other side. Lift up, squeeze together. Heel lifts, squeeze together. It's an up and down, up and down. Now I am trying to keep standing up tall. Doesn't always happen, but that is the goal. We have four more, four, three, two, and here comes your last one. 
relax right there. Give yourself, shake it out, shake it out, right? We use our muscles, relax the legs. I'm gonna do a couple of stretching exercises while we're standing, then we'll get to the chair and add some weights. First, we're gonna take right leg behind the left. Feel free to use your chair as your right arm goes up and add a little stretch. Now, if crossing your legs doesn't work, keep your feet right next to each other, but we're gonna try to stretch down the whole right side of our body. Relax this side down on cross the right. Now the left goes behind. I'm using my wall here, my bookcase, and there comes the up. Now, if you don't need to use the extra balance, you would lift up and over. I'm using this today because that's just the kind of day it is. And then you bring the arm down, you would on cross. Now I want to stretch out our calf. Step your right foot forward. Take the left foot back. Push the heel down. And as you know, I always take a peek. Get the foot straight. So you want the heel behind your second, third toe. If you don't feel a stretch, you might have let your hips do a lot of turning. Now we don't want to hurt ourselves, but we do want to get a good stretch down the back of our leg. If you can, add a bend in the back knee just enough and that changes where the stretch is in your lower leg. We are going to bring this side forward and now you take it on the other side. Heel presses down. And now I check my peak, see if I can get my foot somewhat straight. Then I have to kind of pay attention because there's a good chance I let my hips do their own thing. Heel is pressing down. Little bend in the knee if you can, doesn't work for all of us. Mine is very, very little. That's how tight my lower legs are. And now I'm gonna have you bring yourself up, shake it out, give yourself a little shake, grab a sip of water. We are going to have a seat. We're gonna grab our weights. I have mine off to the side, I'm taking them with me. And we will go ahead and start using um, strengthening, do some strengthening exercises. I'm gonna do some chair squats. We haven't done those yet. So I'm gonna set my weights down on the floor. And your feet are going to be flat. Now I took my feet a little bit wider. This is when we push the bottoms of the feet into the floor. See if you can sit up tall. And let's think of that zip of the core. We wanna zip up. That's totally different than pushing our pelvis down. We wanna think of bringing it up. We are pushing our feet down, heels, balls of the feet down, strong legs, but our upper body goes up. Relax the lower body, take the hands to the outside, try to open up your legs. Now we're gonna use our chest to resist our thighs opening, and we're also using the outside of our hips, our glutes. Keep trying to open up and relax right here. We'll do both those moves one more time. Feet are gonna push down. There's your push down. Wiggle your toes a little bit. I just wanna make sure we don't push forward into our knees. It's a common tendency. We don't wanna hurt our joints. So we work on getting strong muscles to help protect our joints. Relax here. Hands are outside. Try to open up. Feel your chest working as you resist. Feel the outside. So I'm really working the outer part as I push, 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 and then go ahead, relax there. Relax your arms. I'm gonna bend down. Here is the lift of your weights. Be careful when you lift up your weights. Feet are coming together and I'm scooting to the edge of my chair for some rows. You're going to lean forward and pull your elbows to your hips. We're strengthening our back right here. We are going to do a higher number of reps. This is a larger muscle group. 
you're always more than welcome to switch out your weights. I use one weight, uh, which means I'm going to do a higher number of reps with this large muscle group because it's stronger. We can do more. If you have heavier weights, this exercise would use your heavier weights. And when we get to smaller muscle groups, you would use smaller weights. It's a lift, lower, lift, lower. Five more starting here. There's five, four, three, two, sit up tall. Here comes your bicep curls. We sit up tall, we curl up, really stop. Curl up, really stop. Now our feet are still flat. We still have our knees going forward. So if they started collapsing in, have them go towards the front. When you push a little bit into your feet, that keeps your core working while we're still doing our bicep curls. Three more curls. Three, two, and now here comes your side raise. Big or small. Now this is a smaller muscle group, which means maybe you do one at a time if it bothers your shoulders. We want to lead with our elbows. That makes a difference for this movement. Five more to go. Five. Four. Three. Two. Arms stay down. We're going to do a little press back. Palms face the back, a little lean forward, shoulder blades down, little lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now it's a little press. I want you to feel the back of your shoulders working, your triceps working. There's five, four, three, two. And one. Now I'm going to have you take a little shoulder roll. I want you to relax your shoulders. Thumbs are going to go up. It's our diagonal lift for the upper back. There's your lift and bring it down. Now feel free to alternate your arms here. This is a big move. It takes core work. Our arms are going away from our body. Engage the core. There's the lift. Now I'm not lifting up through the neck, shoulders. I'm engaged through my upper back. You have five more. Here's your five. Four. Three. Two. Our next move, we are going into overhead presses. So a little bit more shoulder work. You're going to take your arms up. Today, I'm going to have my palms goal post press up. I often have my palms face in. Today, I'm doing this version. You're going to do the version that fits your shoulders best. You have your up and control down. Up. Control down. We have five more to go. Remember, alternate. If your shoulders are tired, do one at a time. There's three, two. Here comes your last one. Bring your arms down. Be careful right there. Set the left on your thigh. Drop the right arm down. Lean to the side, relax the arm, little circles. So we did shoulder work, we did the side, we did our diagonal, we did overhead. Let the shoulder relax by having the weight down, low circles. Change direction. There is that circle, circle, circle. Bring yourself up. Here comes the other side, relax the arm. Shake it out. Take your circle and circle.
We're taking it in the other direction. This is a great move to do during the day if your shoulders get tight, little circles, relax. Neck, shoulders, arm. Carefully bring yourself up. Now we're gonna slide our weights underneath our chair. Grab one more sip of water. We're gonna start stretching everything out. Today I'm gonna to start by stretching our neck and then we'll work down to our ankles. Sit on your chair, feet flat. Hands can be on your lap, look straight ahead. And now look over your right shoulder. Little neck stretch, pause when you get there. Look to the front, look over your left shoulder. Pause. Look to the front, lift your chin to the ceiling. That is different than dropping your head back. You lift your chin up. I want you to get taller. String is pulling your chin to the ceiling. You look forward, you drop your chin to your chest. Look to the front and drop your ear to your shoulder. Today, now I usually take our arm behind, I'm not doing that today. Today you're gonna drop the ear, maybe a little extra help with your fingertips, and it's ear to shoulder, look straight ahead. Lift the head, drop the left ear, left shoulder, maybe a little bit more with your fingertips. This is soft and gentle. Lift the head. Now this time you're gonna turn and you're gonna bring your chin towards your shoulder. And if you wanna add a little extra with your fingertips, now you're catching a little different area. Lift up and now take the chin, so you turn your head, drop your chin towards your shoulder. If you want to add a little extra, go for it. Maybe you don't need to. Lift the head, look to the front, take a shoulder roll. So loosen up right there. Open your arms to the side, drop your thumbs, press your arms back, lift your chest, lift your chin. Look to the front, take your arms to the side, thumbs up, hug a big ball, open between your shoulder blades, pull your belly in. Drop your hands to your thighs, sit up tall, take your legs out wide. Drop down to your forearms, sweep the right arm across, lengthen through the side. Right leg walks out if you choose taking into a bigger stretch. Slide the leg in, switch sides. Left arm swings around, left foot walks out, and there's your stretch. Walk the foot in, come into a forward fold, wherever that feels good for you, big or small. Bring yourself up, walk your feet in, hug your right leg in. Now maybe you bring it in big, maybe you keep it smaller, add a couple ankle circles. Change directions. Set the right foot down, hug the left leg in. Big or small, ankle circles when you get there. Set the foot down, hug the right leg. Now we're gonna cross our legs. This is not for everybody. Remember, you could always take it eagles. Wherever it works, I'm gonna cross my legs high, add a little twist. Now, if you like to lean forward when you twist, see if you can get both of your glutes, your sitting bones down on your chair, and then add your twist. Little, maybe a little more of a lean back. And instead of rocking off to one side or the other, stay centered. Bring yourself to the front. Switching sides, now you know all your choices. You're gonna pick the one that works for you. 
Lean back enough so you're on both your sitting bones. They stay down on the chair as you, as you add your twist. Bring yourself to the front. On cross, slide your right leg out. Lean forward for a hamstring stretch. And maybe you reach towards your toes, maybe you don't. This is meant for the back of your leg. Bring yourself up, slide the right leg in. Left leg goes out. Here's that lean forward. Stretch down the back of the leg. Bring yourself up. Now here comes a choice. Now you could take your toe back. Maybe that works perfect. I am gonna slide off to the side, taking the leg back. Front foot flat, fingertips reach up. Now these are all options. You don't have to take this version. There's the stretch down the front of the thigh. Drop the arm, slide the leg in. We have the other side. Take it off to the other side. Again, set yourself up. Fingertips go up. Relax the arm down, slide the leg in. Bring yourself to the center of the chair, cow cat right here. Take it up, lift your chest, round through your spine. Sit up tall right here. We're gonna stretch out our fingers. You're gonna lift your toes, make a fist, lift your heels, thumb reaches across. Stretch your fingers, lift your toes. Make a fist, lift your heels. Two more times, stretch the fingers, lift your toes. Make a fist, heels. One more, stretch and lift. Feet are down, we have our wrist circles around in one direction, wrist circles in the other. Press your palms together, this is a wrist stretch. We press our palms. Now, if you need more, you lift your elbows, deepen the stretch. Relax the elbows, we're taking our fingertips towards the floor and taking a stretch through the front or the top of our wrist. Now, when you undo this, I'm gonna have you take your fingertips to the front. I'm spreading my fingers out. Take one hand, stretch out each finger. So we wanna get that stretch through the fingers. Both sides, just a little, just enough to feel the stretch, get the circulation all the way through your fingers. Then you soften, take it around in one direction, take it around in the other. Drop your arms by your side, take your big shoulder roll. Here are your inhales, big inhale, reach up. Exhale, you blow it out. We have two more, reach up, take your inhale. Blow it out, exhale, one more time, big inhale, reach up. Exhale, blow it out. And thank you all very much. Happy Tuesday.